Yellow Jackets has been reigning Showtime since its first season concluded recently. With such an amazing storyline, the series has become one addiction for many psychology drama addicts. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We'll be talking about what Christina Ricci, one of the actresses on the show, had to say about her choice of characters. Want to know what she said? Watch the video till the end. First up, Ricci is always looking for unique roles. Not all actors like to go for characters that have something wrong with them, but Christina Ricci isn't one of them. Ricci has been an actor since the age of seven, and that's maybe the most prominent reason why she's so attracted to characters that are potential outcasts. Even as a child star, we saw her play roles like Wednesday Addams in The Addams Family, and later as a young adult, she was once again portraying a role that we all would consider an outcast. Yes, we're talking about Aileen Wuornos, vulnerable girlfriend Shelby Wall. And now we can see her appear as Misty Quigley, a socially awkward caregiver who enjoys watching rodents drown in the pool in her free time. When asked about the choice of characters, the actress revealed that she's mostly looking for characters that have that not-so-normal vibe to them or those that people haven't seen before. And these characters are often on the fringes of society. We love Ricci because she's unbothered by the thought of what many people say, being typecast in a specific type of role. Even though she isn't concerned about it, she knows what people think about her roles. According to her, people think of her as a typecast actor. However, she finds it flattering. She thinks of her abnormal roles, which are somewhat difficult to portray, as her specialty. Next, it's more like being in my own room, she says. While talking about her character of Misty and how she was able to portray it in such a great manner, the actress revealed her secret. Ricci says that in order to crack the code for Misty, a woman who looks like a softie with those big glasses and poodle haircut, she had to consider what actors do. They connect with others, she says. But to become Misty, she did the exact opposite. Ricci also shared a moment from when she was shooting her scenes in Yellow Jackets. She was with some other actresses, and at the time, they were all asked what goes on in their heads when the director says, action. She recalled that actors have to be present, reactive, and in character most of the time. However, portraying Misty's character was a whole different experience. According to Ricci, Misty would never react naturally to anything. This is why whenever she had to get into character, she'd just think of being in a room on her own without thinking about anyone else. In conclusion, she says, it's about really being removed. So why did Ricci like the character of Misty precisely? Even though the adult Misty was present only in one scene of the pilot episode, that one scene was enough to captivate her to go for it. Ricci says that the scene in the pilot was very informative as it told a lot about Misty's personality. She liked how the character was shown from the beginning. She continued while referring to Misty's profession, saying people in power who feel that it's important to abuse the powerless are generally powerless themselves, and the pettiness she displays is very informative. And now she was only superficially aware of the fame. It won't be wrong to say that Yellow Jackets has now become a cultural phenomenon, and we as viewers are obsessed with the series. And then there's Christina Ricci, who says that she was only superficially aware of all that was happening after the series she worked in got so big. In an interview, the actress said that the fame she's enjoying is actually something that she can only understand when someone else tells her about it. She added, saying it's not what she has experienced personally because of the lack of any tangible proof. According to Ricci, everything, be it fame or success, is happening in the world outside of herself, and she can't totally believe it if it's real or not. While some may think Ricci was trying to be philosophical, let us explain why her thoughts might have been like this. She had given birth to her second child, Cleopatra, in December. However, now that she's out and about, the actress is experiencing all that yellow jacket buzz. When asked about what people say about her character, the actress said that people around her love the series and, at the same time, they also love her character. Apparently, the actress is happy to hear her not-so-normal and a bit screwed character is getting all that appreciation. She revealed that people called Misty a crazy character, but they still love her very much. So what is Misty's character like? Misty is one of the plane crash survivors who somehow managed to get out of the woods and reliving the tragic pasts, even declaring that they've left the past behind. She is the character who hides a lot behind her, innocent looks, and we get to know all about the people she has held hostage in the basement of her house. Not just that, this poodle cut lady is also a very good stalker who keeps an eye on all of her fellow forest survivors. She's intelligent in a very eerie way, and that's how she succeeds in keeping the upper hand no matter what the situation is. If you think you'd like to live like her, you might as well be a psychopath. So get therapy 
idea as soon as possible. Richie also thinks the same. However, she also noted that it's actually fun to play with people for someone who has wrong reactions to everything and laughs inappropriately. When the plane crash happened, it was Misty, whose two-time enrollment in the Red Cross Babysitter's Training Course and knowledge about cauterization and leg amputation came in handy. The soccer stars and other people who suffered the crash relied on her heavily, and that's how she became the leader of all these survivors. In short, she was the leader of the wild cannibalistic group, and now she was working as a nurse, a person who had full access to powerful medications and medical tools. And if you ask us about what we like so much about her, we'd say everything, specifically the fact that Richie is the one portraying this very role. Time for some other related news and updates. Firstly, we're waiting for the second season, and it might arrive soon. It's too soon for us to talk about the release date of season two, however, we can definitely confirm that season two will arrive sooner than fans have been speculating. It's been four months since season one ended, and we are now hoping to receive some production-related news soon. The renewal was announced back in December 2021, and the showrunners Ashley Lyle and Bart Nickerson have said they'd love to keep the series on an annual cycle. It was also confirmed that the showrunners are working hard to make it possible for season two to premiere by the end of 2022. Next, the expected plot will give you chills. In the first season, we got to see some of the most creepy scenes ever. Not just that, we also saw the soccer players all scared about the upcoming winters that might be the end of them. This season showed us some of the challenges these girls had due to the cold. For example, the death of Jackie, who froze to death at the night none of them were expecting it to be cold, let alone a night with a snowfall. But with everything that was revealed in season one, a lot is still under the sheets, and the second season will probably peel all of those layers off for the viewers. The first season was more about the girls' struggle during the winters, and the second season will have a story of summers. But fans should know that showrunners will most definitely keep on going with the winter storyline as well. When asked about the expected plot, the showrunner Bart Nickerson said that they have a lot of opportunities, and they're planning to make it darker and weirder. So let's just hold tight and wait for season two to arrive soon. Lastly, we'll get to see Misty and others once again. Now, if we talk about the cast of this upcoming season, cast members like Christina Ricci, Melanie Linsky, Juliette Lewis, and Tawny Cypress will most definitely return to reprise their respective roles. Other than these members, we'll also get to see Jasmine Savoy Brown, Sophie Thratcher, Samantha Hanratty, and Sophie Nelise in the second season. Ella Purnell's character will not return unless it has to be a flashback because she died in the previous season. Given the unexpectedness of this show, we can expect all the teen guys and girls to return for the season as well. But nothing's been confirmed yet, so we can't be sure. And for now, this is everything fam, so let us know what you think about Yellow Jackets in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell button to stay updated about every new video we post. We'll be back with more amazing content soon. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Adios.